Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your full moon readings. Okay, so towards the end of this uh, video, you will be able to get some information on what to expect with this Aquarius full moon. But right now, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you continue to give our channel. Okay, you can apply this reading today and this is a very mini reading, you guys, you understand very many reading the only reason we do these readings is to give you an idea of where to set your intentions so if you don't know how to set your intentions look below okay there's a link right there and it'll explain everything all the steps in setting your intention for this full moon energy okay so you can apply this to your sun your moon your rising and for some even your venus sign once again um so it's so important to use this energy this information that's going to be coming forth today in these decks because spirit is kind of getting you to hone in on those energies and those situations that you kind of need to deal with all right so make sure you do that um it's so important to use that energy so once again if you're on instagram okay please follow us at lotus love tarot 555 don't forget we have the lotus love show every monday through thursday 9 p.m eastern standard time so meet us right back here uh, if you have not already check out your twin flame soulmate readings for august we have completed those and there are extendeds that go along with that if you're a member of our Patreon, you get to see all of the extendants for one low price. If you're not interested in the Patreon membership, then there is an extended link that's below each one of those readings as well. Okay? I think that's all I need to tell you guys. So remember, once again, this is a mini reading. And if you want information about this Aquarius full moon, just let your reading play a little further and we'll have that towards the end of the reading the mini reading okay all right my loves now on to your reading hello my aries okay you guys let's get right into your reading let's see what's going on with this full moon energy holy spirit divine creator universal messages need to go forth for the sign of aries as relates to the full moon for august 3rd 2020 what does aries need to know as they begin to set their intentions the full moon. Thank you. Oh, this is actually two here. Okay. Okay, hold the spirit. Divine prayer the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries. As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries? Wow, it's like somebody just <laughs> literally just handed those to me. Okay. Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. Holy Spirit, the Lord created the universe with messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on July, occurring on August 3rd. <laughs> what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries for the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. August 3rd, 2020 for Aries, full moon. Energy needs to come forth. All right, you guys. Holy Spirit, divine creator, universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries? All right. All right. All right. Okay, my Aries, let's see what's going on with you. Let's bring this back over here. First two out. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, okay? So you're at the realization that something was worth waiting for, some, some time needed to pass for maybe a lesson to be learned. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I feel like you're in a space that you needed to wait for something. Um, and this timing is perfect. 
And now you need to make the effort. And I don't know why this arm is strong. And you need to make the effort in apologizing. Or you need to make the effort in moving towards someone or a situation that you had some part in. Um, may not have total responsibility. For some of you, yes, you would have had total responsibility in um, making this relationship go south. Okay? But I feel like you need to make the effort in as, as far as the healing of, um, of this relationship. Okay? Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire and not what you fear. Yeah. Some of you may feel as though that you don't want to move in this direction. Maybe feeling negative thoughts about it. May just simply be afraid, um, scared what the person's going to say. But regardless of how you're feeling about that, I feel like you need to move in and make that effort and making the situation right so it can be healed. Okay, you really need to make the situation right so it can just be healed and be over with. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Yeah, so if, if for some of you, I feel like your car is just a junky mess. Okay, so you need to clean your car out, clean your house out, clean your closet out, get your life organized. Help simplify your mindset, and that's going to kind of help you deal with this situation a little bit um, as well, okay? I feel like you're just kind of doing like a total cleanup with this full moon energy, and that's so important. That's so important to do that total life cleanup, okay? See? There it is. Detach from the situation. Yeah. And in order for you to detach from this situation, you're, you're needing to heal it. You're needing to heal it. You're needing to make it right. Not totally detach from it to ignore it. Detach from the situation to make it better. Detach from the situation to heal the situation. Make the effort, okay, in detaching from the negative side of, um, of the situation. So you got to believe and trust. Believe and trust that it's all working out for your good. And that's why I was saying earlier that the timing is right um, for this to be healed. The timing is right for the situation to be over, okay, to, uh, to be ended with a period on it. Connect with nature. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. So this is spirit saying, connect with me. Connect with me so I can give you the energy. I can give you the mindset. I can give you the clarity. I can give you the understanding that you're going to need to um, get through this situation. And I keep feeling like it just, it's just it's healing that has to take place right now. So really during this Aquarius mood, um, this Aquarius moon, um, it's going to be a healing um, for you. And see, when you do, look what happens. Big happy changes. See, this is not about them so much, Aries. It's more about you. You're needing to detach from this situation. You're needing this situation to be healed. And so look at there. Big happy changes. And it's going to happen fast for you within the next few weeks if you can make the effort to do what you need to do. If you can make the effort to kind of put a period on this situation so it can be like totally over with. Okay. All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time. Bye-bye. Okay, my loves, just a little information about this Aquarius full moon that's going to be coming through today on August 3rd. Um, first of all, understand that Aquarius is the sign of visionary, okay, of visions and being a visionary. It is a fixed sign and it is an air sign, okay? Um, it kind of focuses on freedom, um, revolution, um, change. Um, Aquarius energy, it also focuses on the collective, Okay, um, roles within friendships, uh, social groups, and our communities at large. So whatever community that you're in, whatever friendships that you're in, whatever whatever social groups that you're in, this full moon is going to kind of put an emphasis on that. Okay, um, this full moon is going to encourage us to better balance our hearts. Um, with our minds and release anything that's no longer serving serving our highest good, okay? It's going to make us release things that are not serving us. And full moon energy, what it kind of, it, it, what it does, is it, it kind of illuminates those energies, okay? It kind of illuminates those situations in our mind. And it begins to help us unravel and understand some of the parts of ourselves you know, that fit into this kind of framework. It kind of gives us more clarity um, than before. And that's what happens with that full moon energy. We begin to see things a little bit more clear, um, get, have a little bit more intense 
intense understanding. And so as you're going through this full moon energy, make sure you're la allowing the full moon energy to work for you and not against you. Because once again, it can be a very intense energy. But it's so important that we begin to hone in on those specific areas that I talked about. Because again, with this, with it being in the sign of Aquarius, Aquarius is a sign that kind of focuses more so on the collective, more so on the community, more so on friendships, okay? And so that's where your focus is going to kind of be for um, this full moon energy. All right, my loves, if you want to do a personal reading, information pertaining to that can be found. Be Until next time, bye-bye.